guys, I am so late getting this video out. I apologize to you all. I have been, let's just say it's been a very, very busy afternoon. Uh, actually, day. I, I was awakened this morning at 3 o'clock. My mother was calling me. She was at the emergency room. Apparently, she had an ear infection so bad that they had to pump her full of morphine to get the pain to go away. Uh, so I had to drive across town to pick her up and take her back and get the prescriptions filled and all that. And I got home about 5 o'clock in the morning, which laid me just enough time to fix a cup of coffee before it was time to get ready to get the family out to church. Got back from feeding the family and ended up having a couple of business calls with some exciting stuff that's going to be coming. And uh, now finally, here it is, the market opening up, um, and I'm getting out to you guys to, to talk with you guys a little bit about the markets today. So again, apologize for being tardy, but I'm going to try and make it worthwhile. The first thing that I want to do, I want to talk a little bit about... Um, an opportunity. This is the TradingView chart. If you guys are not familiar with TradingView.com, this is the charting package that I am using um, and have been using for quite some time to do analysis on. It is phenomenal. Fantastic. I mean, I used to pay, I pay $20 a month for a subscription to TradingView for their pro package. I, there is, I used to pay $170 a month to get eSignal charts. Because, in my opinion, eSignal was the very best charting package available, and I'm a technical trader, and I want to have the very best, and money's not really an object for me. So that was what I bought, and that's what I paid for every single month. TradingView, what your rivals in every way, shape, or form, um, eSignal. There's nothing that eSignal will do that TradingView will not do for me and my needs. And so I have made the switch over, and I am using them exclusively. Now, one of the things that TradingView also does is you can follow traders. And I have had some traders who noticed that I was using TradingView asking me, um, it, you know, started following me. And I, you know, I had a, you know, 30, 40 followers or whatever, and I wasn't really doing anything. I wasn't posting any charts or anything. But I thought, man, I ought to, you know, I ought to put out, uh, you know, a trade a, a day or something or, or an idea a day to some of the guys who are following me. And so what I have done is, is I, I posted a couple of charts uh, earlier today, and I have started, I'm going to start posting um, some, some ideas, some trade ideas throughout the week on TradingView. And if you guys want to follow me, it's Jason underscore Stapleton, and that would be at uh, www.tradingview.com. View.com. Now, you don't have to have a pro account. You don't have to spend 20 bucks a month. You can actually get on for free if you would like. Um, and and they have there's some limitations, of course, if you're not going to have a pro account. There's some benef benefits to being a pro user. But um, the nice thing about it is you can get on for free and, and start using the charts, and it's, it's really a, a nice feature. And you can, of course, follow me on there. So if you would like to follow me and get some of those trades for free in tra uh, throughout the trading week, um, it's not going to be like the syndicate. For those of you who have been in the syndicate, it's not going to be like I'm updating you all the time, but I'm going to put out some ideas, a lot like what we're doing here in the Forex Market Preview where it's it's higher time frame stuff. We're looking at the daily, we're looking at the weekly, we're looking at you know key support and resistance levels where major turning points may happen. I don't know what I'm going to throw out there. Maybe something different every single day, but I'm going to post out at least one thing to you. I'm going to try and do that. Um, but again, it's not going to be to the level that the syndicate is where I'm updating you on exactly what I'm trading and where I got in the market and where I've exited the market. Those type of things are still going to be reserved for those of you who are inside the, the uh, inside the syndicate and who are uh, part of the war room every single morning for that. But this is just going to be a little extra for those of you guys who, uh, who you know, want a little extra. So that's what's happening in tomorrow. Now, I posted on TradingView if we actually, if you go there, I posted this 2618 trade, and this is what we're going to start, and then I'm going to flip over and start talking a little bit about um, pattern stuff. But as you can see, in uh, the syndicate on Friday, those of you will remember, we actually ended up buying the market up right oh, somewhere in here. I think it was, uh, it wasn't, yeah, somewhere in here, around 50, 5420s. Okay, this is uh, Euro New Zealand on the hourly chart. Bought this up, Euro New Zealand, somewhere around here, looking to play this double bottom. Market did end up finding a bottom there. We saw a nice rally, and I ended up exiting this position somewhere around, almost right there, almost right, because we, we look left, it wasn't quite that high. Uh, sorry. We look left for the structure level here, 
market came up into that level and it really butted up against some resistance. And so I ended up exiting the trade as the candle was getting ready to close there on the hourly chart. And as you can see for the remainder of the day, just nothing but giving back, giving back profits. Well, this is actually set up a 2618 trade. And for you guys who have seen that video, it's a free video on YouTube. All you got to do is go and download the uh, or and watch the video. Um, the 2618 trade is just simply trading these double bottoms. A breakout, okay? We got a break above, close above the previous high, and then we look for that 618 retracement. And again, I spent about two hours in the video sharing with you all the rules, entry stops, targets, all that stuff in the video. So go watch it if you haven't already. But as you can see, double bottom, break a structure, pulled back to the 618. We've got this interior support level. You see this in here? A lot of people don't pay attention to it. But you have this inside support level right here that the market stopped at, right at that 618. Now the goal here, as I posted on TradingView, is to look for a pretty decent risk reward on this trade. So in the event that you were to buy up this 618, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you, we're giving you some options. Okay, You have the ability here. We're going to, I'm just going to delete this get our stops the lows come in here around 5408 let's get them under the even handle let's go 40 5398 okay and then we got potential targets up here where I talked about on Friday those of you guys who are in the syndicate I talked about a hey, we could easily see a rally up here to 5480s okay we didn't get there on Friday we got the retracement back down into the 2618 trade now we have a buying opportunity opportunity to get on board this thing stops below here with a potential rally that would take us back up into 5480s. Now, I do think there's more downside here. Okay, I do not think that this is the reversal that's going to happen and we're magically just going to like explode off of here. But the market, as I said on Friday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down days in a row, I felt like the market was just petering out. And I was looking to play a simple pop for the day. We got that pop. Now we got a chance to get maybe a little bit more. One of the things you might want to look at, although the risk reward is slightly inverted, is if you're going to pick up the market here, maybe look at closing out the half of the position at 5450s. Okay, 5450s, half the position comes off. The balance of the position comes off here at the next resistance level at 5480s. So that's my one. That's that's the one trade idea. And as I'll say this again. 2618 trades, the historical testing we've done on it, we know they're right. 52, 54% of the time, something like that, there's a there's a very narrow edge here that we create. And we try and, you know, create some additional edge by looking for structure support and resistance. But anytime I come out, I, I told you guys a while back that I was going to stop like covering 15 different things in the Forex market preview. And I was just going to look at maybe one or two things. Um, now, when I do that, inevitably, when I only get one thing to show you guys, there's a pretty good chance that that thing might be a loser. So enter at your own risk, trade your own trade, be your own man, and accept the consequences for the trading decisions that you make. These are just my ideas, all right? And as I said, uh, as it says in the little pre-roll thing, you know, if you're a dummy, consult somebody who's not. A licensed, trained professional. Now, let's move on. Pattern stuff, setting up, Euro Yen. This is the Constellation software, which is coming out next week, by the way. Constellation will be released on Thursday. The last video, the performance video, is going to be coming out on Tuesday, so watch your inbox for that, and you'll be able to see. And if you haven't signed up to get information, you need to actually go to the website um, and, uh, and sign up, or you need to send me an email, uh, support at tradeempower.com and say, hey, I want to get on the Constellation email because I want to get notified when the pattern software comes out. Uh, and we'll put you on that list. But it's going to come out on Thursday. You can see we have just hit the entry. We hit the entry back here on this cipher pattern in gray. Market rallied. We didn't get up into the 382 retracement. Market came back down. We've now double bottomed against that level, and we have a bat pattern just slightly lower than that. This is Euro Yen on the daily chart. So we've been watching this for a while. We've been waiting, and we'll see what happens here. This, for those of you guys who watched video two that I just put out on the Constellation software, what I talked about the Gartley pattern, and I showed you guys, I, I did a training lesson on the Gartley pattern. Well, this is that actual pattern. 
And this pattern did, in fact, complete because when we looked at it, it was trading back in here somewhere. And we were projecting where the market was going to go. The market did, in fact, go there. We did, in fact, get filled. And the market did, in fact, hit target one and target two. So just a perfect example of how a pattern should work and how the Constellation software picks out that pattern and sets you guys up for success. So if you haven't watched video two, you need to go do that. I will give you the link underneath this video in YouTube where you can go and, uh, and get that video. Now. We got a bracket trade still setting up here. We're waiting for this market. If this market comes down and fills us to the low side at 112.38 on this bat pattern, it is going to negate this bat pattern. So we'll wait and see what happens with that. But right now, um, if this fills, this is no more. So we'll wait and see what happens with that. That's Swiss yen. And then, of course, we've got several different trades up here on euro um, euro yen on the daily chart. I'm sorry, dollar, dollar yen on the daily chart. Big cipher pattern here in yellow. 104.42 is looking for a sell. We've got a bat pattern here in orange at 103.74s. We've got another, um, looks like a cipher pattern here at 102.43s, which these are all sells, by the way. This is a sell, this is a sell, this is a sell, and this is a buy. So what we've done is, guys, this is what's beautiful about pattern trading and why I like it so much is there's, and especially after the Constellation software where you don't have to do a ton of analysis, is you literally come in and you say, okay, market's trading in between here and here, right? We're right now in between two levels. Here is a level and here is a level. If the market comes here, I'm selling. If the market comes here, I'm buying. What do I do? I place my limit orders to sell and to buy and then I wait and I walk away. I come back a few hours later to check and see if I've been filled, or in this case, a few days later because we're looking at a daily chart. But it's that easy. Doesn't require a lot of time, doesn't require a lot of energy. But anyway, that's going to do it. I'm keeping it short this week, and I'm talking really fast because it's 12 minutes in, and I want to get this video out to you as soon as possible. So I'm going to sign off right now. Go to tradingview.com, try out those charts, sign up to follow me, and I will talk to you guys, well, I'll, be, I'll post you guys an idea tomorrow morning. So I'll talk to you soon.